Ruben gets me every time. You guys, this morning I am doing something that I swore I would never do again. And that is drink grape zip fizz. Like, it is the worst. I hate it. I hate it. The only reason I'm drinking it is because in a moment of weakness, when my Sam's Club was sold out of fruit punch, all I had was grape as an option. So like apparently at Costco, they have all sorts of great flavors and variety packs, but at Sam's Club, they got fruit punch, they got grape. And one day I went there and they were out of fruit punch. So I had to get a whole thing of grape. Not even like a sample pack, like a whole 20 pack. Like what am I gonna do with 20 grape Zip Fizz? You know, like. So normally I get Zip Fizz on Amazon. That's where I find my variety of flavors, my black cherry, my pink lemonade. But sometimes if I'm in a pinch and I need to go to a physical store to purchase it, I go to Sam's Club and I only get fruit punch. I'm working my way through these grapes because I pay for them and we don't let nothing go to waste, hello? But like, I'm not gonna enjoy this. I'm also not gonna enjoy getting this packaging off. Like it meant so much to me when everyone commented saying that you guys have a problem with the packaging too. Like, I feel like if this many of us have a problem, they should have known about it and rectified it at this point. Like they can't think this is okay. I am writing a strongly worded letter to Zip Fizz Inc or whatever and letting them know they need to do better. The devil's juice. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, say hi. Hello, good morning. Oh my god. You literally do the same thing every day. Every day. Oh, melted. Christmas Express, go to. Like, I literally hate morning radio. Like, play music, you guys. I hate talk radio. Like, I just wanna hear music on the way to work. I don't like the radio shows with the hosts. And then like, they always do those prank calls or things that just make me super uncomfortable. Like, I just wanna listen to music. Okay guys, I made it to the shop. Time to double work for the day. So there is my software computer right there, dual screens. And then here, is my shop computer. So this is where I book appointments and handle shop business. Okay, but like something's wrong with our shop computer. Like the BIOS clock doesn't work. Like the internal clock that tells the computer what date and time it is. Like look what it says. It thinks that it's 2.35 on November the 23rd, 2015. And guys, before this, I didn't know what a BIOS clock was. I didn't know that like, this actually could break that's the crazy thing about owning a small business is like you're everything you're hr you're it you're the janitorial staff like i've learned so much about things that i would never need to know because i have to make sure that it gets fixed so i mean now this i didn't replace the battery i done took this whole thing apart like and it still doesn't work so i'm clearly gonna have to call a professional but like it just stretches you to your limits, man. Does anyone know how to fix this besides change the little CBOS battery? Cause I've already done that, okay? Hashtag troubleshooting 101. Okay guys, work has already been nonstop crazy and I'm just like, why is there so much stuff happening so early in the morning? But regardless, that doesn't matter because right now I'm on my way to lunch. Now it's a planned off keto lunch. It is at a restaurant called guacamole and I'm meeting my best friend Richard. I haven't seen him in like six months, I think. So if you didn't see on Instagram a while back, 
I actually officiated a wedding last year in Texas and it was my best friend Richard's wedding to his wife Melissa so Melissa lives in Austria she does like scientific research like real-life Big Bang Theory type stuff and so she's over there in Europe but our company, Rich is also my coworker at my software company, and our company doesn't have a presence over there. So by law, he's only allowed to be over there for 90 days at a time. So for like the past couple of years, Richard has been spending every other 90 days like in Kentucky, in Austria, in Kentucky, in Austria. I mean, racking up them airline miles, if you know what I'm talking about. So he's back for the winter and this is the first time I'm gonna see him. So we're going to our favorite spot back when we used to have an office building here. It's this place called guacamole that's right across the street. So I get this pork sandwich with fries topped in mole. Oh, I'm so excited! And the guacamole! Oh my gosh, like I'm getting way too excited about this. I'm also excited to see Richard. He's my best friend. Nothing could bring me down. I'm about to eat some great food and see my BFF. and the mole on top. Look at this big ass sandwich. Like, you guys, I am so excited right now. There he is right there. Look at him, oh my God, everybody, that's my best friend. Say hi, Richard. Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> was, was I supposed to say hi, Richard? So, we finished lunch at Guajamole and it was amazing. And now we're going to Lucky's. Do you guys have a Lucky's? It's kind of like, it's like a mixture between like a Whole Foods and a Trader Joe's, I would say. What would you say? Good, good, good. All right. Do you need a basket? Okay, so I'm just grocery shopping with my best friend. Like, life doesn't get any better. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, so we're at the store and they have samples of wasabi peas. What are they? I don't know, but I'm gonna try it because hey, let's get crazy. Try one. Here's a wasabi pea. I don't like it. I don't like the texture. Honestly, I would rather it be spicier. I mean, I know what wasabi is, dadgummit. Nope, fail. Nope, nope. Thank you for calling Prime Beauty Studio. This is Autumn. How can I help you? It's at six o'clock today. Thank you for calling Prime Beauty Studio. This is Autumn. How can I help you? So we are right down next to the Dollar General store. Thank you for calling Prime Beauty Studio. This is Autumn. How can I help you? Uh, yes, it does look like it is 11.45. Not gonna lie, guys. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are not really my jam. Uh, I was up at 5.30 this morning, and I'm just now getting home from the shop. I usually do about 12-hour days on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, just so that I can make sure I do a good mix of software work and shop work. It's a lot, but, I mean, I've gotten used to it today. We took a long lunch, so I did get a little behind, but there's always tomorrow. <laughs> so I am looking forward to getting back on plan, back into ketosis, and getting my email box numbers down. Like, I started at 130 today, and I got down to like 68, but like, I need to keep going. So I'm turning in early, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. Also, I'm nailing Vlogmas.